ओके हाय गाइस अब कुछ वेव स्टॉक्स जो मैंने चैनल पे पोस्ट किए उनको डिस्कस कर लेते हैं सबसे पहले यूपीएल जो हमने एक बार पहले डिस्कस किया था यूपीएल में ये फाइव वेव की इम्पल्स बन रही है यहाँ पे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो इनमें से वेव थ्री इज एक्सटेंडेड वेव विच है विच हैजन टू थ्री फोर फाइव अगेन इन इट बिकॉज हम जानते हैं कि एक्सटेंडेड वेव में हमेशा एक जो इम्पल्स होती है वो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव के फॉर्म में होती है एंड देन हियर ऑल्सो वेव फाइव इज फॉर्म नाउ वट वी नो इज वी नो दैट यू पी एल करेक्टिव वेव स्ट्रक्चर विल स्टार्ट बिकॉज एज वी नो दैट आफ्टर एन इम्पल्स इज कम्प्लीटेड करेक्टिव वेव स्ट्रक्चर स्टार्ट सो वट वी हैव रेंज डिफाइंड ओवर हियर इन यू पी एल यू पी एल इज वेव फाइव डिफाइंड ओवर हियर दिस दिस हाई इज वन रेजिस्टेंस देन नियर टर्म टारगेट कैन बी सेवन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अराउंड सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके एंड देन वॉट आफ्टर दैट इफ दैट लेवल इज यू नो केम देन वॉट इज एक्सपेक्टेड एक्सपेक्टेड बिहेवियर वुड बी करेक्टिव वेव स्ट्रक्चर दैट कैन बी एज एग्जैक्ट दैट कैन बी फ्लैट करेक्टिव वेव स्ट्रक्चर एनी थिंग कैन बी दैट एंड कैन यू नो बी इन साइड दिस रेंज ओनली मे बी एज फार एज डिपेंड्स लाइक बेसिकली depends on what kind of low we make okay so if this is breach correction can extend till here this point as well 70 odd levels can also come so these two levels can come so how can we measure uh, what is the uh, level can so we can use fibonacci levels so fibonacci levels needs to be extended from uh, sec 5 and this needs to go below because this is a one wave now okay so from starting from here till wave 5 and if we take the uh, fibo levels 38.2 is the first target zone which is around 730 725 726 any level can come or max to max it can come till 50% retracement okay so after th uh, this retracement is over uh, will alert in channel uh, when to buy uh, upl okay uh, mostly uh, price wise correction would end can end near 726 725 levels or maximum 57 after that uh, time wise correction will only be there there will be no price wise correction only time would be spent so we need to wait for the correct time to invest in uh, upl so as of now any any uh, bounce which comes in upl should be sold okay and this is upl then we have uh, okay what are the things uh, yeah whirlpool this is stock i have posted okay so here in this we can see that it's 1 2 3 4 and 5 so four wave so we can short whirlpool as well because it is in wave 4 and uh, mm, you can see that this is if if we get to short below this 1757 the day low is broken then we can go for buying put or uh, you know uh, taking sell orders in what we for a target of wave 4 wave 4 can uh, you know wave 4 can come at least first target levels would be from second to third if we apply fibo levels 23.6 level is achieved so next target level would be 238.2% that would be around 1696 1690 levels so that level should come in uh whirlpool okay this this is the first level okay second level can be more at most probably it can come till this point as well so if we measure this move from here to here uh, that that would be around uh, 61.8% this wave 4 can complete in yeah, 61.8% okay Uh, because how do I get this target? This target I got basically not only on, on the basis of 61.8 percent level, but it's a one three trend line. So if we need to find the target of wave four, we can apply one three trend line and draw a line uh, joining one two three. One two three line is done, and then uh, uh, make a parallel line parallel to one three trend line. so one so two four ten right okay so this is how wave four came here one three uh, line and a parallel line for that starting from wave two okay i'll tell you how i came to this level in whirlpool uh, so if i need to find wave four level so what i will do i'll make a parallel channel starting from wave three wave one to wave three and making a parallel dc parallel uh, um, target level okay so 
this is the way for way which can end if not so if not if this level is not come so first target level should be 38.2 percent 38.2 percent level is 100 percent achievable in coming days or i can say 50 percent also is very easily uh, um, uh, achievable okay so this is about whirlpool so go short in whirlpool then we have um, yeah so uh, yeah we have that wave stop uh, in lti okay L LTI and then mine tree okay so first we will see uh, LTI in LTI what we can see here is uh, the correction uh, basically has ended in um, LTI because uh, this is on the basis of higher degree wave 3 is ended here wave 4 is ended here and now that uh, we are into wave 5 according to me we are in wave 5 so if we put apply the weekly charts of LTI so this is uh, wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 so wave 5 should wave 5 has started but the point is uh, here price wise correction will not occur much here only time wise correction is going on so now that we know that wave 4 is over and if we check wave 4 if we apply fib levels from here to here we have almost reached 50 percent level or 61.8 percent level from here okay so this is on the basis of weekly charts now that uh, what is going on into the daily charts now we will see that so uh, here wave 4 needs to be ended so on base on the basis of price action uh, reversal from wave 4 we can buy for wave 5 same case applies for uh, mine tree as well okay mine tree also wave 4 higher degree wave 4 is over time price wise correction is over you can see that wave 3 is over here and wave 4 is over here now the same structure is there if we apply 200 ema uh, it is uh, now going down below 200 EMA but that doesn't matter here uh, we need to find price reversal on the basis of price action we will buy for wave 5 in mine tree and uh, this as well okay so um, next would be uh, P whirlpool is over PEL okay so PEL we can see that this is yeah I have already sent this chart so now we can see that this is an uh, you know uh, uh, one two three four five wave pattern known as uh, ascending diagonal the di diagonal pattern ascending diagonal so one two three four five now wave two can end here so in PEL also we need to wait for right levels to buy PEL if one wants to short they can short for this level till this level 17 80 level and then wave one of a higher degree time frame would be over so when wave one of higher time frame degree is over so target for wave two so ideally you know uh, playing for wave two is a little bit risky uh, so uh, only uh, take sell positions on bounce okay and then it would be good to buy uh, in buy in cash uh, for from when wave 2 is over so we can find when the stock will reach here i alert again in the channel when to buy and we need to buy for the wave 3 and we know that wave 3 is longest so we need to wait for the right level to buy in pel as well okay after that we have one more uh, stock coforge okay so i have posted this stock in the channel coforge okay so in coforge the, here there is kind of no wave analysis as such this is a abc wave just that we know that it can be an abc wave nothing else beyond that this is a a this is b and this is c okay so we know this is a abc a, wave okay now here that we know that it has a it now it it is in darwas box we know that darwas box is a consolidation breakout or breakdown okay so if we apply a rectangle over here okay this is the zone uh, uh, which was there and it is broken today so in coforge we can buy put tomorrow provided that if we go below this day low if we are not crossing the day low we are not going to take any short positions if day low is broken then we are going to take the short positions what would be the target in that case uh, first target should be from let's see starting from wave B, uh, for wave c uh, it has almost broken 38.2 percent level so at least uh, 3690 50 percent level should come or max to max 61.8 percent level will come in coming days 3600 or 3615 any level you know till 61.8 percent level uh, it can come so go for short in uh, this one coforge okay then now from iap stocks from uh, uh, 
infrastructure sector as well or to short so one is lti and one is adani force uh, sorry lt lt and lti both are bearish lt and uh, adani force so uh, lt and adani force charts i have shared in the group okay so you can use that chart as your reference so now that we have lt in our books so you can see that this is a one two three four five and abc this is this wave this whole wave is a a is divided into uh one two three four five wave structure and b is divided into a abc structure and we know that in abc three can be a one always a uh, wave a and wave c can be an impulsive structure impulsive as in uh one two three four five structure not really impulsive it can be a one two three four five structure okay so in wave c also one two three four five structure is over so we know that uh how to plot w x y uh, why we are marking it as w because uh this this point we are marking as a this point we are marking as b and this point we are marking at c and w x y is always a three 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 structure okay wave w is always a part of uh a b c when a, a b c wave is formed we call them as w okay and this is x and x is also an a b c structure basically we can see that but it is generally it is uh, here it is a straight line uh, so generally i can consider it as a a b c structure okay so a b c structure if i want to mark i can mark it in this way this is a this is b or this is c something like that okay so now that we are here we have seen there is a bearish engulfing pattern formed on the basis of price action and we know that uh, 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 wave x is formed and the target level would be wave y now we need to see how where is wave y going to end okay so let's see uh, if it is a good level to short because price action is suggesting that uh, uh, bearish engulfing is formed so we need to go for short only if the day low is broken if the day low is broken go for short okay so we need to put retracement also okay so from here till here this is the retracement so here we can see exactly 78.6 percent uh, retracement and bearish engulfing is formed wave x is wave x is has ended here so in coming days in coming week also if this high of 1940 is not broken uh, we are going to see downside only in uh, uh, lnt okay for a target of wave 5 now what is structure can we form here we know that it, it can form a, a 1 2 3 4 5 structure as as well because wave y should also be an 1 2 3 4 5 structure or it can be a abc structure okay so uh, if we if we are going to subdivide wave y it is always a abc structure so if you want to mark a abc structure it should be something like this a b or c something like that okay so this is how uh, lti is is a look so positional lt shots can be carried okay now coming to adani ports Adani ports here also uh, I have shared the chart in the group so now that we have seen on the basis of price action it is on a pure consolidation zone from support till resistance a straight line move from here also uh, from support to resistance straight line move okay so we know that if this kind of pattern happens we need to short at the resistance okay so now uh, we know that we need to short here at resistance basis on the price action as well and now coming to wave what wave is suggesting we need to check that as well so this is one this is two this is three this is four now wave two you can see that it is a very small wave wave two is only 23.6 percent retracement level if we go on put uh, retracement level from wave one to wave two this is just 23.6 percent retracement level it happens rarely but it has happened okay so now wave three and wave four now if we are going this is an impulsive wave structure okay one two three four five so here it is re retraced 38.2 percent level so which is correct and wave five which is over now that we know that after an impulsive wave structure what comes corrective wave patterns corrective wave patterns can be anything it can be zigzag it can be uh, uh you know it can be flat wave structure as well so now that we have also formed bearish engulfing here also as well so if the day low is broken we need to go short okay any any bounce if, if comes in adani ports it should be sold you can buy puts or you can sell in as well okay depends on your it is to reward okay 
so this is how uh, basically all wave structure looks so i am currently bearish uh, you know in this week because uh, index is also uh, weak as i have told earlier as well and i have posted in the main channel as well if we go on to the nifty charts i have clearly stated that that wave 3 has ended okay so if we consider wave 1 wave 1 is an uh, uh, diagonal structure okay uh -huh. Diagonal structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here wave 1 completed wave 2. So if we want to check how much retracement is uh, it, re re retracement the, it, it has retraced 38.2% retracement. Okay, wave 2 and starting from wave 2 uh, we have uh, retracement level plotted till wave 3. Now wave 3 is an extended move. Okay, wave 3 is an extended move, extended wave structure. Okay, so uh, first, so if uh 23.6% retracement in nifty 50 index is completed 17450 i have posted in the main channel as well that 17450 level can come easily okay that that level has been uh, you know achieved okay so what can happen it can ha what can happen uh, basically uh, my uh, target level should be around seven I have posted also there in the main channel 17150 17150 38.2% retracement level so any uh, you know uh, bounce comes for any rally which comes go, goes up should be sold okay do not go for positional call buys okay if you are carrying positions overnight in, in index uh, go for short okay and only go for short when there is a good bounce okay so suppose if any bounce comes tomorrow that should be sold for a target of wave 4 and wave 4 can end near 38.2% retracement level so the point Point when 38.2% retracement level will be over I will again check the chart and I will let you know guys uh, if that wave 5 has started or not now that we know that uh, we have target levels of 17150 so if 17150 is achieved what can happen is there should be some time wise correction because if price correction price wise correction is over near 17150 then of course some time is going to be spent here in this zone and then wave 5 would be started and wave 5 can end near almost like uh, 18400 now how are we going to calculate the target of wave 5 okay so what we can do here is first we need to uh, check how much was the wave 3 so use fib extension okay so fib extension is starting from wave 1 from wave 2 okay so we have seen that 1.618 level was crossed okay and it crossed and it was not able to sustain there and market came down index came down so it is clear that wave 3 is over okay so wave 4 we have we have used Fibonacci retracement and found it at 17.150 is the 38.2% uh, retracement level okay again I will show you guys see 23.6% is there so maybe some time wise correction can happen here uh, one to two days and again wave 4 should complete by 38.2% level okay so now uh, we need to measure wave 5 if wave 4 is ended near 17.150 then what should be the target of wave 5 we need to check so we knew we know that uh, at least uh, you know if wave, wave 3 is longest so here in this case if for an impulse to happen wave 3 is longest so this is confirmed with wave, wave 3 is longest so if we are going to measure wave 1 we start we need to start from here uh, wave 1 so wave 1 is 7% move okay so if we are going again uh, if we are uh, targeting uh, 7150 level okay so starting from here to this is 7.27% so 18400 18350 so basically 18300 and 18400 is the maximum level uh, nifty can achieve in coming days so if you compare this chart with upl upl and nifty index are looking somewhat similar okay so uh, wave 5 would be completed near 18,350, or 18,400 is the maximum level which wave 5 can be achieved when this level is achieved do not become bullish do not go on buying stocks or because uh, after that corrective wave pattern will start and market is going to take a lot of time uh, you know uh, to go up again okay so this is the view on index so when wave 4 will end i will alert you guys again and i will send you again one video when to buy and uh, when to buy for wave 5 and when to buy stocks so now as of now for this week uh, there are not not much stocks to buy because market uh, broader market is not supporting because broader market is correcting so when broader market is correcting wait for the right time to invest because as a swing trader or a positional trader we need to wait for the right time okay because if our timing is not good we are not going to succeed in our swing trading as well so just that if you are getting any breakout stocks as well or some other stocks as well to buy uh, i will say try to avoid as of now okay just wait for the right time uh, 
to invest because if broader market is supporting then cash market will also go up because broader market has a direct relationship with the uh, uh, this cash stocks okay so what you can do is like you can monitor nifty mid cap index as well small cap index as well so here in mid cap also if you see mid cap 150 uh, there is a sharp selling scene from top okay this is a straight line move okay in a small cap also we can see that uh, you know they have gone up and now they are retracing so just wait if that uh, whether uh, uh, when retracement levels are over time wise correction is over then only we need to invest because right time was invest here in this level small cap index mid cap index okay in the main channel i have uh, continuously posting from last one to two months that you know buy stocks stocks and i was, i was continuously uh, posting to buy stocks a lot of stocks okay uh, now that it's time to remain alert for some time okay now there's one more stock i which i would like to uh, you know uh, show you guys uh, this is phenolex cable i think uh, where is phenolex cable yeah this is phenolex cable so now that you can see that this is wave one this is wave two and now i have marked this as one two three four five now that wave five is over and we can see that 38.2 percent retracement is achieved now where i have used the fibonacci level fibonacci level is used from wave two to wave three so if i want to measure wave four wave four has retraced almost 38.2 percent level okay so what max can happen in phenolex cable this is uh, all the stocks uh, you know you can see here in this wave stocks almost i have uh, you know positions on in these stocks some are not there some are there okay so if we want to measure wave 4 phenolex cable is in my portfolio I, I, I will try to add more phenolex cable near 50 percent retracement zone and price wise action price wise also you know this is a demand zone okay this was one supply zone and this is now broken so this zone should be protected this is a pullback trade you can say also as well uh, if you consider according to price action and wave 4 can be over near 50 percent also and it can go up from here as well because it has completed 38.2 percent level if uh, phenolex cable doesn't come down to this level you can see you can think that uh, wave 4 is over and it will go for wave 5 okay so wave 5 target will be around 500 rupees because wave 1 and wave 5 are generally equal okay and here in wave 3 it is an extended wave 3 so extended wave 3 has 1 2 3 4 5 structure in it so it is uh, come it is uh, you know verified that you know that one to here in phenolex cable this is an impulsive wave structure so i will exit uh, i will exit my phenolex cable position around uh, 500 dollars and i will try to add all add some more quantity near 430 425 call levels okay so this is all view just that uh, broader market is not performing much so just wait for the right time i, I would say uh, and you can look for the short positions uh, here stated here you can take short positions in lti you can take uh, sorry uh, you can not in lti you, you should wait for the wave 4 to get over to buy okay so you can make short positions in uh, cofors you can make short positions in lt adani quotes in these stocks you can take a short position in coming week or in tomorrow also if day low is broken okay that's it guys uh, thank you